Hello, everybody. It is Saturday evening as I record this, and I've really, 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 really felt the need to do some type of bonus read. So this is just a general read, any sign. Um, just if it resonates, if the title jumps at you, there's probably a message in it for you. Now, remember, a whole reading doesn't have to resonate to get a message. If five minutes resonates, if five seconds resonates, take it, you know, just take, take it, but don't try to force it. Um, it's very unlikely the entire reading would resonate with one and with one person. All right. Tarot the mystical moments for the main deck. I have golden art nouveau tarot for the clarifying deck and the links to these decks can be found down below in the description box. Ace of wands and a two of cups. I think, and I know why I had to do this reading. Bottom of the deck is energy coming in. Ace of wands is something new and exciting. It just, it feels like a very passionate connection we're talking about. Ooh, two of cups, four of pentacles reverse and a five of pentacles. I feel like it's the era of love, you know, the season of love here. You got 10 of pentacles and the eight of cups. Somebody's, somebody's got some love in here. So I'm, I'm here. Oh my gosh. Hearts are falling. Sorry. That was very loud. Sorry about that. All right. Let's see what we have going on here. All right, for anyone who's watching, whoever needs to hear this message, any sign, all signs, I will call the signs out when I, you know, with the cards as I go. All righty, guys, let's go. What is the general energy here? What is the general energy? What is the general energy? You got this. Oh my gosh, it's the star. Ooh la la the star Aquarius energy right there what's influencing the star this is big right off the bat a huge major what's influencing the star major arcana number 17 this flipped seven of wands Leo this is a card of being in demand it's passion but this is somebody breaking through a, a comfort zone a barrier for love see he's got love tattooed on his chest and he's got a curly little mustache he looks like he might tie ladies to train tracks I hope not but you never know but no it looks like somebody who's willing to go for it they're going for it what's the reason for the reading it's, it just feels like such a passionate connection. What's the reason for the reading? Ten of Cups. Get out of town. Ten of Cups. Pisces energy. What's in the past? What's in the past? The world. <laughs> I can't get over these cards. Oh my gosh. This is it. What song is that? We make no mistakes anymore. Is that McDonald? My, Michael McDonald? Anyway, that song just popped in my mind. I don't know. I can't remember the lyrics per se, but all right. What's on your mind? What is on who's, who's ever watching this mind? Two of Cups reverse. What's in the near future? What's in the near future? Ace of Swords. So this is the card of the, on the mind. I'm getting a feeling. You got the world back here. I'm getting the feeling that somebody either. Now, this could be energy coming your way. OK, could be in two days, two weeks, two months, whatever. But for some of you, this is actually happening. I feel worried with this two of cups reverse. You know why? Because I feel like there could have been a snake in your grasp, in your midst at some point. And it's hard to trust, you know, it's hard to really trust. So this might be worried about what if this ends before it really has a chance to begin. I feel like I'm already losing myself. I do feel that. Now, Ace of Swords in the near future, Ace of Swords is the yes card. And you see all the stars on, on him and he's got the key. I really feel like for some of you, this is it. This is the one you've been waiting for. This is the reason why everyone else didn't work out. Okay, what is, or how do you see yourself for whoever's watching? How do you see yourself for whoever's watching? Hangman, Pisces energy. I feel there's a lot of thinking here. I feel like there, the feeling based on these cards here is, I feel like there could have been a meeting here. And now remember, this is near past. This could have been within a week, you know? Um, it's different for everybody, but I just feel like there's just a lot of thinking. There's a lot of, what does this mean? 
can I trust this? Ten of Cups. Did somebody like, is there a passionate connection? But somebody didn't say the 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 three words yet. I love you. You know, uh, je t'aime or yet to be I love you. Okay. What is the energy coming in you don't see coming? What is the energy coming in you don't see coming? What is the energy coming in you don't see coming? There it is. I feel like somebody, I feel like this is flirtation. I feel like it's cute. I feel like there people are giving each other the eyes. Um, and I feel like here's the real offer. And I do, you see how beautiful this flower is? So maybe this is stemming from a friendship base, but I do feel like this is this has been a nurture. This is, I feel like somebody's really been there for somebody and it's above the rest. That flower is seen above the rest. It's like really standing out. So if, if this resonates a little bit with you and if you met somebody, you're like, I don't know, are they really about me or do they really like me? Is it in my, is it in my head? I feel like they're actually going to say something here. What are in uh, your emotions for who's watching? What are in your emotions for whoever's watching? Nine of Swords is showing itself. Seven of Pentacles is waiting. And, and it's also reflective in a page of wands. Reverse. But there is a card that fell. Let me grab it. There's two cards. Yeah, I just, I, it's, it's the Three of Swords reverse and the Queen of Cups reverse. Two queens. Queen of Swords, or Three of Swords reverse is the Queen of Swords, Libra. And the Queen of Cups reverse is Cancer. I get worried. I get worried that it, I'm really getting worried that somebody's worried that the other person doesn't feel the same way because maybe they didn't ask you out. Or if you're dating somebody, maybe you don't know, is this a commitment or do they feel the same? There's a lot of thinking because there's not a lot of ex, like clarity. Luckily in the near future, you have clarity. Ace of Swords is the clearest card of them all. Okay, what is the outcome here for whoever's watching who needs to hear this? What is the outcome? And it's probably going to be tied to this Ten of Cups, which is the reason for the reading. What is the outcome? I, am I getting Ten of Pentacles feel vibe here? What is the outcome for whoever's watching? What is the outcome for whoever's watching? King of Swords reverse. Lovers, four pentacles reverse. Give me one more card. That's Aquarius energy, by the way. What's the outcome for whoever's watching? What is the outcome for whoever's watching? What's the outcome? Sorry, I really want the card to fall out. There we go. It flips. Two of swords. There is some thinking going on. Interesting enough. Two of Swords is Libra. King of Swords is Aquarius. Somebody's waiting on somebody, trying to be silent, but I do feel like somebody's trying to make up their mind. The two isn't reversed, so they're still in this in-between phase. I get a lot of, I get a strong connection here, to be honest. Page of Pentacles near the energy coming in you don't see coming. What if whoever's watching that is you? Am, am I reading for somebody who's not sure? To a cup's reverse, worried that you know you don't want to get hurt, and maybe you might be protecting your energy, and somebody's coming in, and you might be I don't know I I. I I mean, is it too soon? Did you just come out of a breakup? Is King of Swords reverse doesn't know. It's 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 so they st kind of remain silent. They're having a hard time coming up with a decision. And the Two of Swords has been in. I feel honestly, I feel like somebody's been single a long time too. Because the Two of Swords is an in-between card, but it's also at peace with oneself card. And I this might come so suddenly. I mean, the world could mean somebody has moved on and they're in the new, but I'll bite alone. And there's nothing wrong with that. And then you got some type of love coming in here. 
that shakes up your world from upside down and it, it feels good but it also kind of it can feel very scary so let's see yeah look at that there's the ten of pentacles under the two of cups here let's see the star center of the reading for whoever's watching that needs to hear this what is the star doing here aquarius energy for whoever's what is the star doing here Got the Knight of Wands reverse. And the Nine of Cups. Knight of Wands reverse and the Nine of Cups. I'm getting single person. Nine of Cups can be a very single energy, somebody who's been on their own for a while. They're not used to having to really share their space and their energy. It's so interesting because you got a Ten of Cups, which is couplehood, right? And a Nine of Wands reverse, I feel like somebody, oh my gosh. Is somebody afraid of being intimate? We are in Tarot After Dark. That might be the name of this reading, Tarot After Dark. This might be afraid of intimacy. You know what I mean, Dirty Birds. This might be, if you've been single for a while and, you know, you're... Maybe you were with somebody for 20 years and you haven't been with somebody new and you're like, I don't know if it's not maybe afraid of commitment, but it may be afraid of that, you know, being vulnerable physically or something. It's just that initial. Why am I saying this is because the Knight of Wands reverse under the Nine of Cups, Knight of Wands reverse is like a lack of passion for some time. And now you got Don Juan or Don Juanette coming in and they think you're the best thing since sliced be bread walking around, you know? And you're like, somebody hasn't looked at me like that's, you know, it's for, for a minute. What's the seven of wands influencing energy? Seven of wands influencing energy for whoever needs to hear this. Page of wands. Yeah, this is somebody hot on your heels. I'm getting a bit of, oh my gosh. And I feel like it happens so quickly that you don't have time to, uh, this happens, it feels like I, the tower really should be falling out here. This feels like it happens quicker than you, than you may be comfortable with. And I just feel like there's the attraction is off the charts. And I feel like somebody's going to be sexing it up here, honestly. What's the Ten of Cups reason for the reading? Ten of Cups reason for the reading? Hierophant. Oh my gosh. If you're worried if somebody only wants you for sex, let me newsflash, they do not. You got the you got commitment level here. It's not just sex. It's you. I'm I somebody needs to hear that. It's you. This person is very, very attracted to everything about you. It's not just physical. What is the world in the past? Six of Pentacles, Taurus energy. Why the Six of Pentacles? Somebody offered something there. Eight of Pentacles. Virgo. I'm getting this is, for some of you, this may have been the early stages early the flirtation has been going on for a while and then the offer and it's like are you serious are you are you serious right now why the eight of pentacles virgo energy but an ace of pentacles reverse i feel like somebody's and it's not going to be for all who's watching remember what i said it's the whole reading doesn't need to resonate but there is somebody watching where somebody's been trying to get somebody to go out with them for a little while or they've been flirting and somebody's just a little worried that that's all they want i feel like somebody's i don't feel like honestly this person's got game and they think their game is aggressiveness and asking out i don't think this person's got that much of a game because it's like there's no in between from not going anywhere to you know pedal to the metal kind of energy What's the two of cups reverse on your mind? What is the two of cups reverse on your mind? The devil. Can't stay away from that, can you? 
devil and the three of cups hangman and the five of cups reverse five of cups reverse is a two of cups it's it's not looking in the past it's this is it is a tool it is love it is real three of cups is it could it could be a friendship thing it could be a co-worker thing i wouldn't be surprised if it's a co-worker thing with all these pentacles back here um for some of you but i feel like somebody's kind of hanging in there not sure not this not i feel like somebody might be asking you out coming in or this has been going on and you're just kind of holding back. You like it. You like what they're doing. You like getting the attention. You like getting the compliments. But you just don't know if they're going to stick around. You just don't know if they feel the same. But the devil tells me this. And, and it's showing a lovers here. Because some devil cards don't have any lovers. It's just speaking of it's like in this deck, the uh, Terror of the Abyss, there's no lovers. It's just a dehydrated heart. Somebody's like kind of chained to their own toxicities in this case it, it's this vulnerability it's this i feel like honestly i feel like two people are, are going to have a hard time staying away from each other what is this ace of swords in the near future ace of swords in the near future you got the yes card is somebody finally saying yes ace of swords in the near future and the knight of cups Hugh the very white in the background that is the romance right there Pisces energy I just feel like somebody needs to lay off the play like the not player but the I, there's nothing wrong with compliments but the way somebody does it is giving off player energy I feel like they're what they need to do is start showing themselves who they really are I think there's a lack of authenticity going on here because this person, like I said, I don't think they really have game. They're doing what they think is game and it's not given their authentic self. And I feel like whoever's watching as on the, or whoever's on the receiving end of this is feeling this is probably a player because I'm not picking up authenticity and I'm not really feeling like they really mean it. No, they do mean it. They just, they're terrible at it. Okay. What is this Pisces over here? Hangman, how you see yourself. You got two hangmans, by the way really really thinking about this what's the hangman doing here hermit reverse very similar energy so the hangman is thinking about something trying to get that perspective not really sure i'm not saying yes i'm not saying no but if you look at the card she's really in the new already see how the new has already become her so she's really there but she just needs a little more time to get acclimated to the waters right and a hermit reverse is realizing see how he's searching for a star when it's reverse he knows he's got it you got the star in the center of the reading and then you're gonna realize this isn't just a one night thing i feel honestly because you got a page of pentacles here i feel with the hermit reverse is actually sharing the new sharing what you feel and with the person with the other side and i i feel like there's some type of train track changing of the train tracks of going from flirtation to stabilization and you're like you're going from like flirtation to like relationship not even situationship because you got a real page of pentacles here tell me about a page of pentacles energy coming in you don't see coming is some type of offer it's going to be I feel like somebody's if this is a new energy i feel like you're actually going to be asked out by somebody you have a crush on if this is somebody you've been seeing i feel like they're going to say hey i want i just want you i don't want anyone else what's this page of pentacles energy coming in king of cups reverse why the king of cups reverse and the ten of pentacles reverse okay I was trying not, I was trying to ignore it, but we have some three party cards. Six of Pentacles even has two people. Some per, somebody's trying to give to two people over here. Ace of Pentacles reverse is saying, hey, when you're single, hit me up, but I don't want to get into a third party. Devil and the Three of Cups is the same thing. It's in the Two of Cups, Twos and Tarot can talk about needing to make a decision. So you got a Two of Reverse and saying, until you can choose me, don't be playing with me we'll just be in the friend zone you got another two up here 
somebody's still holding out and they're keeping themselves available or keeping themselves back until somebody is willing to come towards and say, okay, I really don't want anyone else. Maybe if this isn't truly a third party, but maybe somebody's not sure if they are done with the ex, you know, because you really don't know. That again, that's not for everybody, but now that I see a 10 of pentacles reverse and a king of cups reverse, let me talk about that for those that do fit that bill. A page of pentacles is a, be a new beginning. And I feel like this is where the authenticity, authenticity, authentic, authenticity, I can't, all of a sudden I can't say that word, authenticity begins. Because King of Cups reverse and the Ten of Pentacles reverse, I almost want to say somebody's going to talk about how unhappy they've really been. Because the King of Cups reverse can be very sad about something that already happened in their life. And they don't want to repeat that because now you got a page of pentacles, but they don't want to lose on, on you, who, whoever res resonates with this. I feel like this is where something changes. Now, could this person be in the midst of a divorce and they're one month away? Sure. And you might be saying until you sign those papers, I really don't want anything like that. I want to stay in the friends. I, I feel like this person is determined to end something so something can begin. I just feel like who whoever's on that receiving end is just worried that they're being played with. But again, look at that. As I stop, page of pentacles at the bottom of the deck and the nine of pentacles. You have it and you got the ten of pentacles. This person knows you're the one they want long term. I just feel something came quicker than they were planned for, you know, like maybe you've been single for a while. Maybe they just got out of something and, or they're about to get out of something or they're getting out of something and they weren't ready to fall in so quickly and so hard. So let's see, nine of swords, seven of pentacles and the page of wands reverse. What's the seven of pentacles, which is a reflective card, but a waiting card in Whoever's watching their emotions. Moon reverse, Pisces. <clears throat> so I feel like this energy's probably been stagnant for a while. And then the moon reverse is coming out of that. But also finding something out. Which I feel like it's this ace of swords. is Because this is near future. This is current. So I feel like somebody's going to reach out with the truth about how they really feel. Is my guess. With all this, you got Pisces and a Pisces and a Pisces and a Pisces and a Pisces. Are you dealing with, some of you dealing with a Pisces out there? All right, moon reverse. Something to be revealed. Something's finally over. What's this moon reverse here? Death reverse. There's that King of Cups reverse, the Scorpio. King of Swords, Ten of Swords. And the Fool. I feel, okay, so if you look at this Nine of Swords, it's a worry card, up all night worry. This is a current in the motions. Here, there's a lot of thinking. I feel like somebody's worried that they're not done with someone or, or they're just worried about ending it quicker so they can get into this because maybe the other person's holding out until this is over. Seven of Pentacles is, is this waiting card. The Nine of Swords is worry card and the Page of Wands reverse is a lack of forward movement. It's just interesting because the bottom of the deck coming in is the Fool, the Ten of Swords, which is would be a death upright, a cycle coming to an end, and a King of Swords is clear communication. It's, it's this, I just feel like something's finally over for somebody. And this is worried that what if it's not over for somebody? Okay, let's go to this outcome. The Two of Swords upright and the King of Swords reverse. Aquarius and Libra up there. What is the King of Swords reverse in the outcome? What is the King of Swords reverse in the outcome? Five of Pentacles. Why the Five of Pentacles? Five, uh, two fives. Five of Wands reverse. King of Wands, Nine of Wands reverse. Got Leo and Sag right there. I 
I just feel like somebody's been holding themselves back as so until something can be out. A cycle can be completely over. What's the two of swords? What's the two of swords here? And the two, look at two of wands, two of swords, two of cups. Somebody's waiting on a decision. The decision's going to be had. Something's going to be over. Nine of wands reverses, finally letting go of the past, finally letting go of a relationship that finally letting a divorce is finally over. Um, a move is finally happening and a beginning can finally begin. So who is in this? Is this who I'm reading for or who I'm reading for ends here and this is the other person waiting. So this, I feel like somebody's waiting for something to be over and they don't want to lose out on this newer energy. I get all I can tell you in this reading because it's kind of, you know, I always think of like, like a triangle with three points and it depends on which point you are. And I try to read for each of those points because, you know, it's somebody's story out there. There's no clear cut cookie cutter kind of story for it's all all fits for one person. So if you, let's just get down to brass tacks here. If you're worried that somebody is not going to wait for you, they're not going anywhere. They're not going anywhere. You got a page of pentacles and that nine of pentacles is a 10 of pentacles, or you have the, you got the 10 of cups, you got the ace of swords. I like to think this ace of swords is the communication that somebody's waiting for, that something is over. That if you're waiting for to hear from somebody, if they've been kind of, you know, you're not sure if they've ended it, you're not sure if the divorce is over, you're not sure if they moved out. I feel like, cause this is the yes card. This is the communication and this is, it's a lot of happiness and it's filled with stars, right? We have the star card in the center. I just feel like somebody's worried that somebody's gonna pull back an offer because the wait was too long. This, this person's not going anywhere. And for some of you, if you think this is a past energy, this is not a past energy. I wanna say that because this past week I've done readings and I was so happy to see all the current energy. And then I think it was in the Scorpio read, somebody's like, oh, this is my past. This isn't past. This is not past. Um, this is either current or this would be an energy coming in. And if you're seeing past, that means this has not come in yet. And you want to be able to have it come in. So you don't want to see the past. When you stop seeing the past in the readings is when you're finally pushing that energy out of your, out of your system. You know, this is coming in like a freight train. Let me tell you, when you got a king of wands to go in here and a star, it's like two people who can't get enough of each other. This, you, you would not mistake this as anything but happy and exciting. And it's unfortunate if somebody else isn't ready. And if you've been ready for like three years and now somebody else is in the situation that you were in three years ago, maybe that is meant to be because that's a soulmate thing. You know, we're here to help each other. So maybe what you went through you had to go through to help somebody else get to that other side. And now you two can be together. But I do feel like all those other relationships, they didn't work out. And once this comes in, you'll see why this is, this is forever and ever. Amen. Like the song says kind of relationship. I don't feel like there's going to be anyone else after this person. I just feel the unfortunate circumstances that somebody may not be fully out of something quite yet and they're dealing with something and they're trying and I feel like there's no better um inclination and reason to get out of something than this new relationship so this is this is good I feel like this is this is some sexy times for somebody and happy times and it just feels right it really is right person right time even if two people weren't completely single because it's just, I mean, it's for some of you, it was the push to become single. They were just holding in there just to hold in there. And then they meet the love of their life and they're not going to let this person go, which I feel is you. And I don't feel if, if this is your story, I don't think you're going to let them go either. You just know, you just know it's right, you know, from the bottom, bottom to your toes and all right. I'm just rambling now. All right. Have a good evening. Tomorrow's the bonus reads. I will have them out hopefully early in the morning. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you're still with me, have a good rest of your weekend. I love you guys. Take care.